All right, grade eight. So moving on now in the second part, we're going to work on some bod mass ones with the rules. So we're still simplifying like in the last question, but now we're using our bod mass. So when you see brackets, you've got to do what's inside the bracket first. And so that is going to get you to seven. Two plus five is seven. So we know the numbers need to go to the front and then in order P, Q. So we get rid of the time sign. It's just a way of rewriting. This still means seven times P times Q. Now again, we don't know what P and Q are. We're going to work with situations where we might be told what they are in a question, but for now we leave it blank. Then for this one, we've got a group numbers. So it's going to be two times five is 10. And then X and Y in that order are being multiplied. Then for C, we have some negative numbers involved. Negative two times negative three. If you're multiplying with negatives, you've got to apply the rule. Negative times negative gets us a positive. And in this case, it is two times three is six. And we get rid of the time sign. We don't write the positive there. We can leave it as six X. Then one times P times Q times R. So now you could write it as one PQR, but we don't need the one there. It can go away. PQR. All right. So in this situation, if we had ones like this, if we had A times A times A, we're going to have to work with our exponent rules because we're multiplying the same base. We add the exponent like we did. But if we're working with A, plus a plus a it's like saying i have an apple plus an apple plus an apple how many apples do i have three apples all right so it is also working with repeated addition but we're going to come back to that okay so now moving on to the word sums okay so it says when working with word sums change a number so you're going to see the words a number like here in this question there, into an X. You can pick any letter, but X is our common letter. We like using X. And so let's go into, let's see what we can work with. Express the following in algebraic language. In other words, in maths language. The product, product means times, of a number, we're going to call it X, and 5. So 5 and X are being multiplied, is increased by... 14. So we say we are going to be adding 14. So the product of a number, so x times 5 is increased by 14. So now we can rewrite that as 5x plus 14. Okay, let's just write that neatly as if you'd be writing on your paper. Remember we're going to have, so for number 1, 5 x plus 14 if you're going to show the working out and you're going to say x times 5 plus 14 make sure you have your equal signs one underneath each other on a new line right then question two says a quotient quotient means divide of two different numbers two different numbers so we don't know what they are, so I'm going to call the 1x and the 1y plus 15. So the quotient of two different numbers plus 15. So quotient is dividing of two different numbers, and then we're going to add 15. Okay, so you've got to know your maths language that we did when we started at the beginning of the year. Double the sum of two numbers. So double means we're going to multiply by two. Sum means we are adding two numbers, but we don't know what those two numbers are. So we're going to call one X, call one Y. All right. So let's do the X plus Y. That's the sum. I am going to now double them. So we say two times. But 
because we're working with algebra, we can then just put the 2 and the bracket. The multiplication is implied between when something's touching a bracket or something touching a letter, nothing in between it. Multiplication is your default implied um, operation. Okay. For divide, when we see a fraction, we know it's divide. Otherwise, we work with plus or minus for uh, addition and subtraction. All right, question four. One half of the difference of a certain number and five. So one half, we're going to be dividing by two, of the difference of a certain number, so x and five. Difference means subtract. So we know we're going to be working with x. We're working with the difference. Okay. And we are going to be halving it, which means we are going to be dividing by 2. So we could also write this as x minus 5 all over 2. It's up to you, though. You could leave it like that, or you could leave it like that. All right, question 5. The difference minus between a number squared and its square root. Okay, so the difference between a number squared and its square root. So a number squared and its square root. So now we need to do the difference. Okay, the difference means subtraction. 5 less than the cube root of a number. So cube root of a number, 5 less means we're taking away. So cube root looks like this. Of a number, we don't know what that number is. And then take away 5 from that. Okay. Number 7. The sum of the square of a number and the cube root of that same number. So the sum means we are adding up something. The sum of the square of the number and the cube root of the same number. Same number. So the sum of the square of the number added to the cube root. Sorry. The cube root of that same number. Okay. Please don't forget your equal signs. And... So, in order to answer these questions, you need to know your definitions very well, and you need to read the instructions very carefully when you're working with it. If you just jump into it and not think about what a certain number is, for example, then you're just going to race into um, writing things and then not reading the question properly. Okay, you won't get very many of them, but you do need to understand the language of the maths. So, again, we're going to say product is multiplication. Quotient is division. Adding more sum okay, is plusing, addition. Minus, less, take away, difference, all of these words mean subtraction. Okay, that's just some of them. Square root, cube root, squaring, um, we have covered that as well. But remember, square root doesn't have a number on the outside. There's an invisible 2 over there. Cube root, fourth root, fifth root, we can go on forever with that. Then squaring, cubing, raising to the power 4, 5. Okay, same for my exponent section. Nothing has changed. Right, in the next video, we're going to work with substitution, and then you'll have a homework exercise to work on.